It's important to understand when dealing with quality of the picture and the resolution of the picture that they don't have anything to do with one another. Go ahead and press the quick menu button to access both the quality and the resolution. Both are also accessible in the main menu. I just find that accessing them through the quick menu is a little bit faster and easier. This is your quality setting. The first option is also the default option, and this is the best quality JPEG the camera can produce. Down one is the standard quality JPEG. I can take a lot more pictures on the memory card, but the quality is sacrificed. The RAW plus JPEG options, or the RAW by itself, is a whole nother story. Usually I don't shoot RAW pictures because I hardly make any corrections to my pictures on the computer. That's not to say my pictures don't require those changes, just that I'm usually too lazy to make those changes. What I mean by making changes to your pictures is changing the contrast, changing the color, anything of that nature will result in better quality if you start with a raw image. Changing a JPEG, you may end up with a lower quality image than had you started with a raw picture. To know more about the differences between raw and JPEG, visit the glossary section at lbguides.com. As I said, usually I stick to the default quality setting, which is the best quality JPEG. If you move over one to the left, this is the resolution. And this is just the number of pixels that the camera is capturing. You have a few different options, the large, medium, and small, in three different aspect ratios. This too, by default, is set to the large resolution with the four by three aspect ratio. If I go down, this is the medium, and this is the small, and then you get into the large with the three by two aspect ratio. Three by two aspect ratio is very much like 35 millimeter film. It's a little bit wider. It's not quite as square as the 4x3 aspect ratio. 4x3 aspect ratio is very much like a standard TV. If I keep going down, I'll eventually get to the 16x9 aspect ratio, and this is like a widescreen TV. Personally, I like sticking with the large 4x3 because all the other resolution options crop the top and the bottom they don't actually make the picture any wider. Cropping is actually something that I can do on the computer very, very easily with a lot more control. So this is why I choose the large resolution with the four by three aspect ratio. It provides me with the maximum amount of resolution this camera can produce. Press set to escape. And this is what I normally use, the large four by three resolution with the high quality JPEG setting. To find out much more about digital photography and your digital camera, go to lbguides.com.